Hi everyone, this time I will be discussing how to compute the number of page fall that may occur using another type of page replacement algorithm which is known as the least frequently used page replacement algorithm otherwise known as the LFU. When we say least frequently used page replacement algorithm, the idea here is we replace the page which has been used least frequently during some immediate preceding time interval. Say for example, we are given here a sample problem. So this is our sample problem. Consider a process with 7 pages as it is processed by a system with 4 available page frames. The following string depicts the ordering on which pages are needed during the execution of the process. So, this is the order on which pages are needed during the execution of the process. As stated in the problem, we have 7 pages. These pages are page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4, page 5, page 6, and page 7. And we only have 4 available page frames in the memory. So how can we compute the number of page faults using the least frequently used page replacement algorithm or the LFU? Again, we have here the order on which pages are needed during the execution of the process. First in the order is page 1, followed by page 2, and then page 3, and then 4, 2, 1, 5, 6, 2, 1, 2, 3, 7, 6, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, and the last page in the order is page 6. And then we have here our available frames. We have here frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, and frame 4. The first page, which I will be calling, is page 1. Because page 1 is not in the frame, we need to swap in page 1 in the frame. And swapping in page 1 in the frame will cause page fault. Since there are available frames, I can swap in page 1 in one of the available frame, particularly in frame 1. Swapping in page 1 in the frame means that a page fault occurred. The next page which I will be calling is page 2. Because page 2 is not in the frame, we need to swap in page 2 in the frame. And swapping in page 2 in the frame will cause page fault. Since there are available frames, I can swap in page 2 in one of the available frame. So the content now of the frames are page 1 and page 2. Swapping in page 2 in the frame means that a page fault occurred. The next page which I will be calling is page 3. Because page 3 is not in the frame, we need to swap in page 3 in the frame and swapping in page 3 in the frame will cause page fault. Since there are still available frames, I can swap in page 3 in one of our available frames. So the content now of the frames are pages 1, 2, and 3. Swapping in page 3 in the frame means that a page fault occurred. The next page which I will be calling is page 4. Because page 4 is not in the frame, we need to swap in page 4 in the frame. And swapping in page 4 in the frame will cause page fault. Since there is still an available frame, I can swap in page 4 in the available frame. So the content now of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 4. Swapping in page 4 in the available frame means that a page fault occurred. The next page which I will be calling is page 2. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 4. Since page 2 is in the frame, so therefore we need not swap in page 2 in the frame. So no page fault for calling page 2 here. The next page which I will be calling is page 1. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 4. Since page 1 is in the frame, so therefore, we need not swap in page 1 in the frame, so no page fault for calling page 1 here. The next page which I will be calling is page 5. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 4. Since page 5 is not in the frame, we need to swap in page 5 in the frame. And swapping in page 5 in the frame will cause page fault. Because there are no available frames anymore, we need to swap out a page from the frame for us to be able to swap in page 5. 
And since we are using the least frequently used page replacement algorithm, we will be swapping out a page which has been used least frequently during some immediate preceding time interval. How do we determine the page which has been used least frequently during some immediate preceding time interval? For us to be able to determine the page which has been used least frequently during some immediate preceding time interval, we need to look at the pages to the left of the page being pulled. So we need to look at the pages to the left of page 5. And then we count the number of times these pages have been called or used. If there is a tie, we select the page which is farther to the left of the page being pulled. Okay? So, from Pages 1, 2, 3, and 4, we are going to swap out the page which has been used least frequently during some immediate preceding time interval. We need to count the number of times these pages have been called or used. We start from counting page 1. Okay, so page 1, how many times did we call page 1? So, we count page 1. 1. Two, two times. And then page two, one, two, two times also. And then page three, one. And then page four, one. So there is a tie between page three and page four. So we select which is farther to the left of five. So three is farther to the left of five as compared to page four. So therefore, we will be swapping out page three. Okay, in order for us to swap in page 5. So pages 1, 2, and 4 are still in the frame. The next page which I will be calling is page 6. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 5, and 4. So since page 6 is not in the frame, we need to swap in page 6 in the frame. And again, swapping in page 6 in the frame will cause page fault. Since there are no available frames anymore, we need to swap out a page from the memory for us to be able to swap in page 6. And then we're going to determine out of these pages which page is to be swapped out. Okay, so again we count the number of times these pages have been called. The least frequent of them all is the page which we will be swapping out. So we start from counting page 1. So page 1, how many times did we call page 1? So 1, 2. Page 2, 1, 2. Twice also. Page 5, 1. And then page 4, 1. So again, the least frequent is page 5 and page 4. So we have a tie again. Okay? So which is farther to the left of 6 between 5 and 4? So 4 is farther. So therefore, we are going to swap out 4 for us to be able to swap in page 6. Again, pages 1, 2, and 5 are still here. The next page which I will be calling is page 2. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 5, and 6. Since page 2 is in the frame, so we need not swap in page 2 in the frame. So no page fault for calling page 2 here. The next page, which I will be calling, is page 1. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 5, and 6. Since page 1 is also in the frame, so we need not swap in page one in the frame. So, no page fault again for calling page one here. The next page which I will be calling is page two. The content of the frames are pages one, two, five, and six. Since page two is also still in the frame, so no page fault for calling page two here. The next page which I will be calling is page three. The content of the frames are pages one, two, five, and six. Since page three is not in the frame, we need to swap in page 3 
in the frame and swapping in page 3 in the frame will cause page fall and then we need to swap out again a page from the memory since there are no available frames anymore for us to be able to swap in page 3. The page which we will be swapping out is the page which has been used least frequently. So from among pages 1, 2, 5, and 6, the page which has been used this frequently is, so again we count the number of times these pages have been called, starting from page 1. So page 1, 1, 2, 3, 3 times. Page 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 times. Page 5, so page 5 is one, one, 1 only, and then page 6 is also 1. Okay? So therefore, there is a tie again between 5 and 6, which is farther between 5 and 6 to the left of 3. So 5 is farther. So therefore, we need to swap out page 5 in order for us to swap in page 3. Again, pages 1, 2, and 6 are still in the frame. The next page, which I will be calling, is page 7. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 7 is not in the frame, we need to swap in page 7 in the frame. And swapping in page 7 in the frame will again cause page fall. Because there are no available frames anymore, we need to swap out again a page from the frame in order for us to be able to swap in page 7. And we will be swapping out from the frame a page which has been used least frequently. Again, we count the number of times pages 1, 2, 3, and 6 have been called. So we start from counting page 1. 1, 2, 3. 3 times. Page 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times. Page 3. 1, 2. And then page 6. 1. So page 6 is the least frequent of them all. So therefore, we need to swap out page 6 for us to be able to swap in page 7. Pages 1, 2, and 3 are still here. Okay, the next page which I will be calling is page 6. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 7. Since page 6 is not in the frame, we need to swap in page 6 in the frame. And swapping in page 6 in the frame will again cause page 4. Since there are no available frames anymore, we need again to swap out a page from the frame in order for us to be able to swap in page 6. And we will be swapping out again a page which has been used least frequently. So again, we count the number of times pages 1, 2, 3, and 7 have been called or used. Okay, we start from counting page 1. So page 1, 1, 2, 3. Page 2, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then page 3, 1, 2. And then page 7, 1. So the least frequent of them all is 7. So we swap out page 7 and then we swap in page 6. Pages 1, 2, and 3 are still in the frame. Okay, the next page which I will be calling is page 3. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 3 is in the frame, so therefore no page fault here. And then the next page is page 2. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 2 is also still in the frame, so again no page fault for calling page 2 here. And then the next page which I will be calling is page 1. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 1 is also still in the frame, so again, no page fault for calling page 1 here. And then the next page is page 2. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 2 is in the frame, so therefore, again, no page fault for calling page 2 here. And then the next page, which I will be calling, is page 3. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 6. So again, page 3 is, is still in the frame. So therefore, no page fault for calling page 3 here. 
And the last page, which I will be calling is page 6. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 6 is still in the frame, so again, no page fault for calling page 6 here. Okay? Since we are done with calling all of the pages, we are now ready to count the number of page fault. Okay, so we count the number of page faults. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the number of page faults using the least frequently used page replacement algorithm or LFU is equivalent to 9.